First, energy transition. The industry is already being disrupted by prolonged low crude price and the shift in customer and societal sentiment towards more renewable energy sources, such as the accelerated move to electric cars. With that, oil and gas majors are diversifying into alternative markets and business models. Examples include the shift towards the new use of uh, more gas and other forms of cleaner fuels. Whilst interestingly, others are considering the energy, uh, the renewable energy uh, space as well, and, it's not, uh, and are not standing still. Second is uh, digital technology. And the need to go digital is clear. It's a matter of when, how much, and how fast. And we know the technologies that are out there uh, which can have major positive impact on the bottom line to help companies stay ahead of the competition. Uh, what comes to mind? Big data, the internet of things, um, extended reality, artificial intelligence, machine learning, the list goes on. Am I surprised? Not really. In my many personal experiences leading or participating in major uh, change programs for, for big uh, oil and gas companies, I think the decisive X factors that determine the ultimate success or failure actually transcends technology. Uh, rather, it's about leadership, it's about culture, and it's about attitude of the workforce. And the latter, in terms of rhythm and tempo, if I may say so, is reflected by senior top management. Against the backdrop, a major change program, such as a digital transformation program, um, will immediately evoke two main prerequisites. One, a set of clear yet meaningful vision and digital strategies set and actively empowered by senior management. I choose those words we care. And secondly, a strong top leadership presence, commitment and support to drive through and sustain the entire transformation journey. It is a journey, not a destination. Through trials and tribulations, so as to promote and inculcate as a corporate DNA, the desired culture and attitude throughout the organization. 